And welcome to another Sunday and another lesson. So today is the 11th of February, right? So in another three days, that is on the 14th, right? There is an important Christian celebration or an important uh, event in the Christian calendar, right? And it's this Wednesday. What do you think it is? Yeah, any clues? Your priest would have spoken about it maybe this Sunday, right, at church or in Sunday school as well, right? You all also must have bought last year's Palm Sunday process to church and handed it over to your priest, right? So why am I talking about all of this? Because this coming Wednesday the 14th is Ash Wednesday where we go to church and we are marked with the sign of the cross on our foreheads with ash, right? And it is a time of repentance and growing closer to God, right? So our lesson today is about the season of Lent and enter in the season of Lent. And it all starts on Ash Wednesday. And it is a 40-day uh, period which starts on Ash Wednesday and goes all the way till Palm Sunday right it is also a day when we remember jesus's temptation in the wilderness where for 40 days and 40 nights jesus spent his days and nights in the wilderness praying and fasting right and during this time of lent as each of us prepare ourselves and get ready for the celebration of good friday and then easter sunday right in the holy week Till Palm Sunday, we each try to make a small sacrifice to help us remember the great sacrifice that Jesus did during his 40 days of fasting and prayer and also the greatest sacrifices Jesus made on the cross at Calvary. So with that said, let's have a look at our Bible passage today. So our Bible story is taken from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11 is where we find the story of Jesus's temptation. So let's have a look at our video story for today and come back to the lesson. From the time Jesus was young, he spent his time listening to and thinking about scripture. He talked about scripture with others and he spent time talking to God in prayer. Because of this, Jesus knew scripture and used it to spread hope and help others fight against sin and evil. One day, Jesus went out to the desert to pray. After 40 days, he was tired and hungry, and the devil came to tempt him. First, the devil told Jesus, If you're really the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. But Jesus said, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus had read this in scripture so he knew how to answer the devil with truth. Next, the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple and said, Throw yourself to the ground. If you do, God will tell his angels to save you. But again, Jesus answered with scripture. He said, It is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Last, the devil took Jesus to the top of a high mountain and said, I'll let you rule over all the kingdoms of the world. All you need to do is worship me. But Jesus said, Go away, Satan. The scriptures say, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. After that, the devil knew there was nothing else he could say. So he left and angels came to take care of Jesus. All of us will be tempted to do things that are wrong sometimes. But when we read scripture and take it to heart, we find hope and learn God's good way. That means when temptations come, we'll be able to use scripture to say no just like Jesus did when he was tempted. And we just saw the video of the story of how Jesus was tempted and how Jesus replied or defeated Satan each of the three times through the word of God, through the Bible, right? By, by quoting scriptures. And we see the importance 
of us also knowing scripture, having important Bible verses memorized, kept in our hearts. We can use it at different times through our life, through our day. When we are feeling sad, if there is a verse that helps us remember how much God loves us, or when we are sad, if there is a verse that encourages us, we can also use these words to encourage others around us as well. And even like in the video we just saw, when we go through times of temptation as well, we can use God's word to help us overcome these temptations. All of us face various temptations. Each of us are challenged and tempted maybe throughout the day, during our life. There are so many instances, you know, when you're writing that exam paper and you just want to peep into the other person's paper just to see what this one answer is. But you know that that is not right, right? To tell a lie about someone so that we might be uh, seen as the better person, right? Uh, being um, told that we should do something even though we know it is not the right thing to do and we are tempted sometimes by even our friends and family and neighbors to do things that are not quite right and can be wrong in the sight of God, right? So there are so many temptations that come our way throughout our day, throughout our life and with the word of God deep in our hearts, it will be that much more easy for us to overcome the challenges and the temptations that we come across right and we serve a mighty god a wonderful god a god that understands each and every one of us because after all jesus also went through temptations and he knows and he can see us also when we go through these temptations and he's with us uh through our challenges uh being by our side and helping us to overcome these challenges in our lives so with that said let's have a look at our chorus for today it is a wonderful chorus i hope you enjoy you can sing and dance and enjoy this time Indeed, what a mighty God we serve. I hope you enjoyed the chorus. And now let's have a look at what our memory verse for today is. It is taken from our story for today, uh, from the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 10. And this is what it says. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. What beautiful words, what strong words, what convicting words, you know. Worship only God and serve Him only. Let us keep this verse in our hearts. Let us memorize it and keep it within us, right? Uh, and 
take it and carry it throughout our life's journey. And if there are other verses in the Bible that you love, that has captured your attention, that you have heard people speak of, go through your Bible. Maybe borrow an a adult Bible from one of your parents or your guardians or your elder brothers and sisters. You know, ask them to help you and maybe write it down and memorize those favorite Bible verses of yours. And during this time of Lent, let us also draw closer to God, try our best to spend time with Him, right? read our Bibles, say our prayers, and grow closer to Him. And also, let's try and give up something small or even something big right? during this time of Lent and spend time with God, you know, talking to Him and experiencing uh, how great it is to be able to spend time with him with that said now let's get into our activity time and auntie has a crossword puzzle ready for you so in the first page it will be the blank crossword puzzle which you can pause the video and maybe take a screenshot right or pause it and draw it out on a paper or write it down on a paper right and try to solve it by yourselves the second slide will be the questions for the crossword puzzle right so try to see if you can put in all the words that should come in the crossword and then the third picture will be the picture with the answers or the crossword with the answers. So all the best and I hope you have fun doing the crossword puzzle. And now we have come to the end of this Sunday school lesson. I hope you had fun and I hope that all of us will have a blessed Lent season. Let's end our lesson today with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday. We thank you for everybody who is listening to this video today. Jesus, we thank you for bringing us closer to the season of Lent. We pray that this season of Lent will be a special one where all of us can grow closer to you by spending time with you, reading your word and praying. Jesus, help us to have a fruitful season of Lent where we will learn much from spending time with you and helping others as well. Jesus, help us also to memorize the memory verses that we love and cherish so that we will have them close to our hearts and in our minds that we can encourage ourselves as well as those around us with your word. Help us to spread your love to everyone who does not know you this Lent season in a special way. We now pray for our beautiful country and we place it in your mighty hands. We pray for our family and friends, for our loved ones and all of those who are near and dear to us. And we especially pray for all the children of the world. We pray this and ask all this in Jesus' most mighty and precious name. Amen. So Tilani sees you next week with another amazing Bible story and Sunday school lesson. Please take care of yourselves. Be obedient to your parents and your guardians. And remember that Jesus loves each and every one of you very, very much. Take care. God bless. And I will see you next week. Bye.